World World is a cool little level that I've been working on in the shadows for a while now, and it's just about done. In fact, there's really only one other thing I want to add. Near the end, I have this cool little transition that may or may not have taken me like five days to make. Anyway, if you know me, you'll know that this cool animation isn't enough. It needs more. I'm releasing this level tomorrow, so I don't want to do anything too crazy. I think a whole ass 2.1 randomizer for the message on this sign will do. Now wait, that probably sounds really complicated, but it's actually not. There's a lot of different randomizers people have made without using random triggers. All of them use player input, since it's really the only thing that changes from attempt to attempt. For me, I'm going to be using this little thing I came up with myself called Collision Roulette. If you know what Russian Roulette is, the name's pretty self-explanatory. All I do is spin this collision block around a center point every time the player clicks, using a touch trigger. Then using a stop trigger, I stop this rotation every time the player lets go. Also, make sure this collision block is set to dynamic block, because you just have to do that if it moves at all. Now, scatter a bunch of collision blocks set to different values around the center point. Setting the center point to group parent makes that a lot easier. Also, these collision blocks don't have to be set to dynamic block, because they don't move. Anyway, we're almost there. Now set each message to its own group. Future gem here, I decided to use color channels instead of groups just for optimization reasons. Make a box of color triggers like this and set one of them in each column to full opacity. Now finally, we have to set all these to spawn triggered, give each column its own group, and we're on to the last step. All I have left to do using a collision trigger is make it so when block ID 81 collides with block ID 82, message 1 gets toggled on and the rest get toggled off. And then I do that for the rest of the messages as well. For this sign, there's a total of 6 possible messages. Two of them have 4 corresponding collision blocks, two of them have 3, and two of them only have 1. So that means that some messages are a lot more likely to show up than others. Now, we could just quit there, but would that really be like me? calling it quits when, in all honesty, it's a very reasonable time to call it quits? No, of course not, this part is a coin route. This doesn't really complicate things that much though. The coin route I have set up gets toggled off when you touch this enlargement portal, so all I really have to do is make some new messages with the same colors, add the old messages and these new messages to separate groups of their own, and when the player touches this portal, it spawns some toggle triggers that turn off the coin messages and turn on the normal ones. I forgot to mention, but there's one more step, just add all of these triggers to a group and then stop that group before the messages show up, and then whatever message was chosen last will be the one that shows. Now, it actually doesn't end there. I do have one more secret message that has an entirely different way of being triggered, but you'll have to find that for yourself. Be sure to watch the premiere of this level on Monday at 12 p.m. MST, Mountain Standard Time. Thanks for watching, and I'm gonna go crash now. It's been a long few days. Have a good one, guys.